the road because of the crash. It's a rollover crash. Where are you coming from? From my friend's house. Huh? From my friend's house. From your friend's house? Yeah. Okay. Where's your license at? That's fine. Just stand right here. I'm just trying to go home. I get that, but I mean, no, all of us got a job to do. I get it that you say that no, you work at MDC, but we also have a job to do. No, I understand that. So obviously there's a strong odor of alcohol emitting from the vehicle. Okay. You reek of alcohol. Your eyes are bloodshot and watery. You're having a difficult time, time putting on your shoes. You can't even walk. So, wait right here. Uh, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Looks like, uh, best I can make out, she maybe she's a corrections officer. I think that's what this is and she's a bit passive maybe <laughs> he kind of defines her as being pretty screwed up that she was having a hard time getting her shoes on and stuff so it looks like um, they had the road blocked because of a rollover accident and um, she just chose to kind of go on through and I think I didn't watch the entire video I think maybe she lives real close by and um, was almost there <laughs> she uh, they uh, they got her for going um, going through their uh, roadblock so kind of a dumb move right. well appreciate y'all being here let's get on with this hit that like subscribe all that good stuff I don't harp on it too much but I appreciate any help anybody wants to give the channel and uh, let's uh, Let's get on with this and see where it goes. Is your key in the car or where's yeah. your key? It's in the car. Okay, please all right. Can you pick me up, please? We're long past that. Here, stand right here, face me. Stand right here. Have you had any recent head injuries? No. Where were you coming from? From my friend's house. You were coming from your friend's house? Yeah. And then where are you trying to get to? To my house. To your house? Yeah. Where do you live at? Okay, so you're coming from your friend's house. Yeah. Where's your friend's house now? My friend's house is down the street. Where? On, um, by 1800. Do you have a jacket inside your car? Yeah, I do. You do? All right. Like, officer, please. Like, okay, I got that. Please. You work at MDC. I got a job okay. to do too. I but, know uh, you do. Can I just go home? I, I can call my brother, please. We're long past that. But I'll get your jacket out of your car and we'll like, get to that. We're going to move your vehicle that way it's off the shoulder because this is about to open up, okay? Okay. Please, can I just go home? Um, I got a couple of tests to administer. Okay. Just make sure you're good to drive. Yeah, as long I as am. I feel like you're good to drive, then we'll go from there. Please. Oh, I just have somebody come pick me up, please. Okay. I'm not trying to cause you any trouble, like, for reals. Like, I'm just trying to get home. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to do my job. I know. Please, just let me just go home, please. Does she have a jacket in there? It's in the trunk, she said. Do you have tennis shoes or anything in that in that tennis shoes in the car? No, those are the only shoes? These are the only shoes. Okay. Like, I literally live down the street. Okay. But obviously you said that you were coming from your friend's house. Mm -hmm. I saw you driving. I know. You obviously didn't see our lights all lit up right here blocking the roadway. Because, like, I live down the street. Well, I get that. Thank you. I live down the street. Okay, well, we're blocking off the road, obviously, because we had a rollover crash. So. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. Like, okay. for reals. All right. So, how much alcohol have you consumed this evening? Two drinks. Two drinks? Where at? Uh, the Kevin Gates concert. The Co Kevin Gates front concert? What time was that? It was at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? All right. What kind of drinks are they? They were uh, AMFs. AMFs? Yes. What is that? Is that like a beer? Uh, no, it's a mixed drink. A mixed drink? Okay. And then you said you had two of those? Yes. About how long ago? About like an hour ago or two hours ago? About an hour ago? Yes. Hour ago to two hours ago? Okay. And what size were they? They were large. Large? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, I really live down the street, officer, like, okay. for real. Like, All right. We just want to go home. Gotcha. Come, come over here. All right. Send right here. Have you had any recent head injuries? No. No? Send right here. Do you feel comfortable just standing in those shoes for a shorter duration of time, or would you rather take them off? I can stand in them. 
Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want you falling. I just want to go home. I get that, but you, you can follow me. I'm not gonna follow you. Stand right here, face me. Face me. Your whole body. Put your toes and heels together. Put your arms to your side. You said you have it. You haven't had any recent head injuries. No. Go ahead and take off your uh, glasses. Five forty-four seconds. I'll be uh, ten six fields with that forty-one. Here, hold them in your hand. All right. So, you haven't had no recent head injuries. No, I haven't. All right. You feel comfortable just standing in those those uh, shoes? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Okay, so what I want you to do is follow the tip of my finger. You able to see it? Follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only keeping your head directly straight. Do you understand that? Just with your eyes. Boy, she's pleading, pleading to just get home. Yeah, she got a state trooper here. He's not, he's not going to let her off on this at all. Um, he's done the uh, HGN test and uh, I probably pretty well knows where he's going from here just from this test alone. The uh, nine step and the hold your foot up and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of times there's balance issues which i'm totally sober haven't drank in years and i can't do it but a lot of times it's just following direction um like when they actually kind of like it when they do the backwards alphabet and stuff because people screw it up so bad <laughs> that'd be the test i'd want uh i'd probably mess it up though um anyway so yeah the horizontal gaze nice stagmus thing it's um it's interesting because I found a um, video on how scientific it is. Um, I think I put it in a video here not too long ago. I'm, I'm going to put it up here for a second, and I'm going to speed it up just uh, because I put it there for humor. But it's, it's interesting, the, uh, the dynamics involved in learning how to uh, know or learn the science of the test in itself <laughs> yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it up here real quick when we're trying to look either to the right or to the left horizontal gaze or up and down we have supra nuclear pathways for doing this supra above nuclear pathways that live in your brain stem and the infranuclear pathway, which is below the nucleus and is composed of the peripheral nerve, the neuromuscular junction, and the muscle. Supra, nuclear, and infranuclear. So for some case, the frontal pathway lives in the pons, and has mediated by the neurotransmitter and the sixth nucleus. This is the frontal pathway. The frontal pathway lives in the pons, and the lobes of the vertical nerve lives in the brain, and the actual nucleus in the brain, and the lobes of the pons. These various names are found in the nucleus, the muscle, the tissue, the nucleus, and the tissue nucleus. You have to hold it. You need to know that the vertical nerve is in the brain, and the lobes of the pons are in the pons. The super here, these brains have nuclei, comes from the ideals, first class, the so I look around the right, my left front ideals, that's why right front start, that is the right front ideals, and 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 the right front ideals, so that's the nuclear nature of the nuclear force, next up here. Controlled at the level of the pons via the parapontine reticular formation but the final common pathway is the sixth nerve nucleus for horizontal gaze. The sixth nerve nucleus talks to the contralateral third via the medial longitudinal fasciculus, resulting in a clinical finding called an internuclear ophthalmoplegia. And the combination of a horizontal gaze palsy and an INO is what we call the one and a half syndrome. If you just know this basic anatomy, you can pretty much figure out the major disorders of horizontal and vertical gaze from the brainstem and also the supranuclear problems. 
Okay, <laughs> you got all that. <laughs> now you know the neuroscience <laughs> for, for, for the Stagnus test. Sorry. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I realize, I realize they use that for a lot of reasons, this, uh, the field sobriety and all that. And I'm sure that once he looked in her eyes, he pretty well knew where he was going with it. But you know what? You smell like booze. Car smells like booze. You can't hardly stand up. You can't put your shoes on. So let's just move straight ahead to the breathalyzer. How about it? <laughs> I just, I, there's so much time taken on the field sobriety stuff. But, you know, it's good entertainment for us, right? <laughs> All right. That's crazy. All right, let's get back to it. This gal can't retain anything. Let's get back to it. All right, so do you feel comfortable walking in those shoes or would you rather take them off? Whatever you want to do. I mean, I would recommend that you would take them off, but um, if you feel comfortable walking in them, then you can, but there's a pretty big heel on them. You're already barefoot or you're, or you're already uh, driving with them off. Yeah, I just want to go. Yeah. Sober you what? I'm, I'm sober going home. Okay, well you're not sober because you already admitted to me that you were consumed some alcohol, Eureka alcohol, your eyes are super bloodshot and watery, can't even stand, you're slurring your speech, so come over here. Okay. Stand right here. Put your toes and heels together. Do you have any issues walking, turning, balancing? No, sir. Yes or no? No, I don't. Okay, so put your toes and heels together just like so. Put your arms to your side. All right, so there's gonna be an imaginary line from your left foot directly in front of you. Are you able to imagine that line? I need a verbal yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, so Ms. Coda, uh, it's gonna be approximately the width of your, uh, of your foot. So now that your left foot's on that line, put your right foot directly in front, just like so. Go ahead and do that now. Now they're in that position, just keep your arms to your side. All I'm trying to do is get you in this position, okay? So put your right foot in front of your left. Now they're in that position, just keep your arms to your side. Maintain that position until I try to begin. So Ms. Koda, yes, you're not listening to anything I'm saying? No. So put your toes and heels together. Okay. Put your right foot in front of your left. Now they're in that position, maintain that position until I try to begin. Ms. Koda, again. So all I'm trying to do is put you in the instructional phase. Okay. Put your right foot in front of your left. Go ahead and do that now. Stay in that position. All right, stay in that position. Maintain that position until I try to begin. Put your right foot in front of your left. Now they're in that position, maintain that position until I try to begin. Once I try to begin, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps on that imaginary line, heel to toe, keeping your arms to your side, looking down direct your feet, and counting each step out loud. Do you want me to go look down my feet? I'm just giving you the basic instructions of the test. Can I please just have somebody pick me up? We're long past that. Clear me from that call. You want me to no, job? I'm not telling you to begin. Okay. So just listen to me for a second. Yes, You're gonna take nine heel toe steps on that imaginary line, heel to toe, keeping your arms to your side, looking down to your feet, and counting each step out loud. Once you get to the ninth step, you're gonna leave your lead foot planted, take a series of small steps with your rear foot, turn yourself back around, nine heel toe steps the opposite direction. I'm gonna demonstrate it. Pay, maintain that position. Left foot on the line, right foot directly in front, just pay attention. One, two, three. I took three, you'll take nine. Once you get to the ninth step, lead foot planted. Series small steps with your rear foot. Turn yourself back around. Nine heel toe steps the opposite direction. One, two, three. Again, I took three. How many are you gonna take? I'm gonna take nine. You're gonna take nine. One more thing. Once you begin the test, don't stop until you're finished with the test. Miss Coda, I give you a lot of instructions. Do you understand everything? Yes, sir. So during the test, you're gonna keep your arms to your side. You're gonna look down through your feet and count each step out loud. You want me to look on my feet? Correct. Whenever you're ready. One. Just like I demonstrated and explained it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, Miss Coda, uh, put put your uh, your zipper up on your jacket. Oh, 
has no trouble. It's like for us. I got you. I just want to go home. Okay, stand right here. This way. And then face me. Put your toes and heels together. Arms to your side. This next test is going to be the one leg stand. So once I tell you to begin, you're going to pick up the leg of your choice, left or right, six inches off the ground, about the size of a Coke can. Both legs are going to be straight. The foot that you decide to pick up will be parallel with the floor. Parallel meaning level to uh, level to the floor. You're going to keep your arms to your side. You're going to look down to your foot that you decide to pick up, you and you're going to count in a series of 1,000s. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Pay attention. I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to use my right. You could use your left or your right. Just pay attention, okay? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. During the test, arms to the side, look down under the foot, count just like I demonstrated. Okay. Any questions? No, sir. Would you like me to demonstrate it again? No, sir. Give me one sec. It's another one. I'm sorry. Miss Cole, whenever you're ready. Pick up where you left off. It is a little chilly out here. <laughs> it's cold. I'm sorry. It's just cold. It is a little cold out here. Put your foot down. It's just cold, sir. It is a little chilly out here. Come over here and put your shoes on. All right. Just stand right here real quick. And then just face this way. See that little light right there? Yes. All right. Put your hands on your back. Buckle up, buckaroo. Miss Kona, no. what's in your mouth? Nothing. What is it in your mouth? Nothing. Okay, look at me and open your mouth. I ate my tongue. Just turn your, okay, look at me and open your mouth. Lift up your tongue. You're not looking at me. Lift up your tongue. Lift up your tongue. All right. So on my watch, 0238, you're going to be placed under arrest for DWI, no, driving on to foot stops, getting liquor. No, Come over here. No, Come no, on. Please. Come on. No, please. No, for real, please go, don't. Go. No, please don't. Oh, please. I need to go home. No, no, please. Stop, stop. No, 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 please. We're Can I? Past that. No, no. Can Have I please? No, no, no. Have a seat. No, please. No, please. No, please. Can I? No, please. Have a seat. No, Have a seat. please. No. Have a seat. No, please. It's real simple. No, please. So you're going to pick up another charge. No. So have a seat. Can I please? No. Nope. Can I get We're long past no. that. Have a seat. No, please. Miss Coda. No. Please. Your Put your legs in there. Can I please have another test, please? There's please. no more test. No, please. There's a breath test once we get back to the office. I'm going to no, read that to you in, here in a sec. Please. But get in the car. Please. Can I go, my brother? No. Nope. No. Put your legs in the car. All right. And so then he'll work with you. Just put your legs in the Ms. car. Miss Coda. No. Real simple. Oh, no, please. Just put your legs in the car. I'll no. work with you. We'll give you the phone and you can make no, calls. No, please. Just put your legs in the car right now. Please go home. Put so your Ms. Coda. legs in the car right now first. No, please, for real. <laughs> put your legs in the car. No. Come on. Put, put, no. Put, put your legs in the car. We're going to have to force you to get in the car. No, for real. Okay, can, then get in the car. Can I please tell my brother? Like, no. Get okay, legs well, in the car. Once you get in the car, I'll give, go get um, your phone no, and you can call please. whoever you want. Put your no. feet in the car. I'm about to get fired. Bro. Okay. For All right. Real. No. Please. Get in there. Give me a chance, please. I just put your legs go. in there. No, please give me a chance. Put your Why legs in there. Do that if you're not listening to it. Um, <laughs> please, can you give me a chance? No, please give me a chance, please. All right. Please give gonna, me a chance. I don't want to rip your legs. No, or your, uh, please. Can, can you your please? Jeans. No, please. Put your leg in the car. Sir, no, for real. Put can, your leg in the car. No, can you please give me a chance? No. No, can you please? No, for real, no. Can you please give me a chance? No, for real.
charge, bro! <laughs> Yeah, you um, you had your chance. You you made the wrong choice when you um, when you decided to uh, go around that barricade, <laughs> you, and you made even a worse uh, choice when you decided to drive uh, your vehicle, and knowing you're impaired. Uh, you know she's worried about losing her job, and that's uh, and rightfully so. I mean, if that's part of it, that's part of it. One thing about law enforcement, you have to, uh, you live by a little higher standards than the, than a regular person does. You have to. And uh, anyway, yeah, you got to listen to this for a few minutes. So hang in there, people. She is one whiner. Please give me a chance. I just want to call her brother, please. Straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. If I pass this, can I go home? Like I told you. Go right, go right here, have a seat right here. Have a seat right here. If I pass this, can I go home? No, I'm good, bro. I'm almost done. Pack fire, you want your Are you done? If I pass this, can I go home? Like I said, if you, uh, if you, if you blow zeros, I'll call my lieutenant and he'll make that decision, but. Can I go home if I pass it? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Okay. So I'm going to read this to you, okay? Can I call her? Hold on. Her? Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important. So listen to me. You are under arrest for DWI. The Mexican Applied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a, a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional <coughs> chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency, the New Mexico State Police. Do you agree to take our test? What I'm asking for is a breath test. Yes, sir. Okay. Call my brother. Right after this. Lord, I just let me go home. All right, so I'm going to put on a brand new mouthpiece that's never been used before. After this. If I pass you, what happens? What do I have to blow? Under what? Zero point what? Eight. If it's like zero point seven, I can go home? Like I told you, I'll call my lieutenant and we'll see what he says. <laughs>
Good God, woman. Time lapse probably been 30 minutes and you haven't got a grip yet. And this is a detention officer? And that's the most control she has over her emotions? <laughs> She's making sounds like some kind of a forest animal at night or something out of an African safari series or something. What the hell? Just breathe. No, you okay. Oh yeah, just leave it there. It hurts. Can I call my brother? Yeah, right after this. If I blow under zero point eight, I can go home. I'll call my lieutenant. I'll see what he says. I'll see the ticket. Well, they don't have a ticket for DWI. There's no ticket for DWI. Oh, hey, whatever So you're under arrest. You're gonna get booked in. Female. Okay, like if I go under eight, I'm not gonna go home. Th that I don't know. I'll call my lieutenant and we'll see what cool. he says. Is it gonna show my record? Uh that'll be down the road on whether you take it to trial or it goes to Alright, so to provide a sample you just take a deep breath in, blow constantly like you're gonna blow up a balloon, okay? You ready? All right, go ahead. You're not blowing, go hard. You gotta... You're not blowing, stop, stop. You have to put your mouth around the little mouthpiece and blow constantly like you're blowing up a balloon. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go ahead and stop. What is that? Okay, um, you have to provide one more sample. Once you provide one more sample, it'll print out a little receipt, and then I'll let you know what you blew. Right after this. Tell you. I know you said it one more time, but like, what did it blow right now? This must be something they, they, they're trained to do as detention officers, is not hear, not listen. They hear, but they're, they're not listening. She's not comprehending anything, you know. Excuse me, guard, could I, uh, could I get to my, uh, Com uh, commissary today or excuse me guard you said I could excuse me guard they they learned to tune it out I guess I don't know <laughs> it just it seems odd to me I've never seen anything like it to non-stop asking the same question over and over and over again and she's not that intoxicated I mean she's not gonna it's not like she's gonna blow the top off of the breathalyzer or anything it, that 
hit that uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. If you like what I'm doing, leave a comment. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, long video. Pretty crazy stuff, though. Yep, my mom used to say, in one ear and out the other. <laughs> I love you, Mom. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Same thing, constant flow, okay? All right, you stopped. You want water? Constant flow, all the way through. I'll let you know when to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go and stop. All right. So you blew a 1516, so double the legal limit. What's that? Exactly what I just said. 1516, double the legal limit. So 0 0.08 is anything at or above that is the legal limit. You blew up double that. Can I call my brother, please? Yeah, right after this. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Make. However many you want until I finish my paperwork. Can I call it right now? Right after this. It's gonna. You already told me I'm booked in. Yes. So can I call right now? Can right after. Yes. Right off? after this. Can you take this off? I won't. Once this finishes. Louder, Once I'm... it finishes and prints out, then. Can you here? Here. Have a seat. How much is the bill, Lada? Lada, how much is the bill? There's no bill. What do you mean there's no bill? You, I thought you worked at the jail and you I knew how the work. system works. I do work at MDC. Okay. So what's the bill? All right. Do you want to keep that jacket on? You want to be seen with that jacket, or you want to take it off? Take it off. Just because I don't know, I don't know how these people are gonna react with you, uh, having it on. Can you call my brother? Or whoever I need to call? How many is, how much is the bill? Um, I just told you that. There's no bill. Oh my god. I, I, I can't take any more of it. She, she retains nothing. It's almost like she doesn't hear a thing you say. She asks the same question over and over and over and over again. I, I could probably go back and cut six, seven minutes out of this video just her asking, can I call my brother? Can I go home? I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Can I call my brother? Can I call my brother? I, I just want to go home. Can you follow me home? Can you take me home? I want to call my brother. <laughs> She's a detention officer. She works in the jail. You got to have more control over your emotions, honey. You do. You can't. Uh... Yeah, I. You know, whether she loses her job or not, I don't know. You know, I don't. It depends on the policy. It kind of depends. They. You know. Some some departments are really really struggling to fill those kinds of positions, and um, that doesn't make her a bad person. Um, now, her judgment's not good. And she made bad choices. But I don't care who you are to get behind the wheel of a vehicle, no matter how much you've had is a bad choice period no ifs no ands no buts nothing find another way to get home call your brother there were no other charges except for the uh, DWI so they're not going to have a list of um, charges at the end <laughs> she was embarrassed enough she wanted to take that jacket off 
didn't want to walk through the department with that on. Yeah, and, and ought to be. She ought to be shamed. Uh, maybe she'll never do that again. All right. That pretty well that pretty well sums that one up. Can I go home? Can I call my brother? Can I go home now? Can I go home now? I just want to go home. I just want to go home. There's no place like home. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Till the next time. I'm proud of the Ram. And I'll be gone. I'll leave you a little outro. All right. Do you need some water? Here, go over there. I just want to call my brother. Can I call my brother? I'll get you your phone in a sec. Go. Have a seat. Here's your phone. You can call whoever you want until I'm done with my paperwork. Here, let me see your right hand. being booked and processed downtown, we have time for one more classic of American literature. This one's about idiots choking rodents. I give you Of Mice and Men. Read him his rights. You know what? I'd like to read them myself. Chapter 1. Eat my ass, pigs. Ah, <laughs> oh, the bones in my nose! <laughs>